What's up, guys? It's your boy Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000, and welcome to Anime Weekend Atlanta 2016. And you know what's really awesome? I just got out of the world premiere of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan Season 2, Episode 1. I just got to witness the very first episode before anyone. This was the official world premiere. That means the Japanese have not even seen this episode. And you can tell from behind me, everything is just absolutely electrifying. There are so many amazing amazing anime fans here cosplaying and having a good time and I thought I would do something a little different for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you an early review of the first episode of the second season of Iron Blooded Orphans. Let's go! So first thing going into this very first episode of Iron Blooded Orphans, you kind of need to know exactly what's been going on in the first season otherwise you're going to be completely left behind. That being said, the very first episode was actually really simple. Essentially it was just sort of re-establishing all of the main characters from the series, as well as introducing a few new ones, as well as building up the brand new introduction of the titular mobile suit from this series, the Gundam Barbados Lupus. That's right, it's an upgraded version of the Gundam Barbados from the very first season. And yes, you are going to have to wait until the very end of this episode to actually see it, but guys, it really pays off. It looks awesome. It's got some brand new armor all over its body, not to mention a number of brand new weapons. But the main thing to take away from the very first episode of Iron-Blooded Orphans is that Tekadan is now on top. After they proved themselves at the very end of the last season, they're now receiving a lot of resources from a lot of rich people. They've officially become a member of Tewaz, which means they have access to brand new mobile suits that they've never had before. And they're going to need those mobile suits because they're going to have to deal with a number of brand new oppositions. Whether they're coming from the defeated Gallahorn or a lot of brand new mercenary groups who try to attack them in this episode right here. Fans of the characters of Mikazuki and Orga are going to love this episode as you finally get to see the next evolution in their character development. Mikazuki himself is still scarred from the last battles. His arm is still messed up. However, whenever he goes into a mobile suit, which uses the Aliyah Vishnata system, he can still actually use all of his full abilities. And like I said, at the end of the episode, it's totally worth it. You also have Orga, who has officially become the big boss of Iron-Blooded Orphans. He is so awesome and commanding in the very first episode. Hell, he's even got a brand new slick looking suit to establish the fact that he is indeed a freaking boss. Kudelia Ina Bernstein, guess what? She's no longer useless like in the very first season. She's actually really instrumental to Tekadan and the fact that they're building. She's actually looking out for their very best interests. And that's what made this episode so fantastic. The biggest thing to take away from the very first episode of Iron-Blooded Orphans is that we have a number of new characters who are introduced to Tekadan. There's this one big burly guy whose name is Dane who doesn't say anything, but he looks like he's going to be like the next best version of Biscuit. Speaking of Biscuit, by the way, they really try to tug at your heartstrings in this episode by establishing the fact that his sisters are indeed going to that school that he saved the money for. Getting to see them again was fantastic, and just getting to see the audience's reaction was also pretty freaking amazing. But but there's also this other new character who I feel is probably going to be one of the most important characters for the series. His name is Hush Mitty. He has these goofy looking Saitama eyes, but he really seems like a really cool character. When I saw him initially, my first thought was that he kind of reminded me of the main protagonist from Gundam Seed Destiny, where he's very mysterious, he's very quiet, and clearly something really bad happened in his past. But like a lot of the other orphans on Mars, he has decided to join Tekadan because frankly, there's nothing left for him to do and he has a lot to prove especially to the main character of Mikazuki who he basically looks up to big time because let's face it Mikazuki is the most badass mobile suit pilot from the series and speaking of mobile suits there are a number of new ones that you'll get to see in the episode I've already mentioned the Gundam Barbados Lupus but there's also these mobile suits which are known as the Shiden which are used by the Tekadan group and they were actually given to them by Tewaz I really like seeing some brand new mobile suits and the fact that they're really distinctive looking is probably my favorite thing about this episode but really this was a simple premiere it was essentially just re-establishing the characters where they're going what they're doing and what they're going to do in the second season of the show as for the first episode 
I'm just thrilled that I got to see it first. I've never experienced anything like this, and as a hardcore Gundam fan, I'm just so excited to have been a part of this amazing event. So, as you guys can probably guess, I'm going to be reviewing the rest of the series as we go on. I don't think my backdrop is going to ever look as cool as this one right here, but still, make sure to stay tuned for that. As a score for the very first episode, I don't think it was perfect. I think it really took its time in reintroducing the older characters, and I would have liked to see a little bit more mobile suit action. That being said, this was another solid addition to Iron-Blooded Orphans. I'm gonna give this episode right here a four out of five. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this very special review. Remember, I'm at AWA Anime Week in Atlanta 2016. You should definitely get down here and see all of the amazing cosplay and the crazy events they have planned for all the anime anime fans. It is just awesome. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and make sure to leave me a comment. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay dandy, baby!